I'm going to show you a quick strategy that could change everything for you. And I bet you've never seen it before. So I'm giving you kind of this like over the shoulder look, this strategy of how my brain works, how I create things that I come up with, how I come up with them. I don't know. ChatGPT told me it was important that I share this stuff with you guys when we did a business analysis. So that's what I'm doing. So this morning I was trying to figure out a very super geeky um, software. It's called Airtable. And it has all kinds of if this, then that, and flowcharts and automation and things that I'm working on and trying to figure out. But it is super geeky. That's how I brought in Harpa to help me learn how to use Airtable. But bite size, like I get overwhelmed by anything that's super long and comprehensive. I wanted little pieces, like just show me this one piece is where my head goes to, right? So I'm over here. Let's just pretend you've never used YouTube or you're trying to learn YouTube. You're a creator and you want to build a YouTube channel, which everybody should, by the way. I mean, anybody that's a creator. Well, over here, I have this, um, let me, let, let's start at the very beginning. I open a tool up here called Harpa. Harpa is a home as a Chrome extension. Harpa is going to be our assistant. It's going to be our trainer. It's going to teach us how to do things. But the beauty of this that nobody's talking about, it can read the page. So it can tell you where to find things. It's, it's page aware. Okay. So let me give you an example. I'm going to open Harpa. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, how do I create a YouTube channel? I'm a creator. Okay, bare bones, you're brand new. You don't know what to do. You might have already known to go over to ChatGPT or another AI tool and type that in. That's fine. But let me, I'm going to show you where it gets very interesting is when it starts telling us how to use the software. So the first thing it says, go to YouTube, sign up with a Google account. All right, so it tells you step by step. You got it, right? All right, uh, next step. Now it's going to go to the next step of how to build your YouTube channel. The left side, customization, add your profile, add your banner, add your video. Okay, here we go. We're going to add these. And then let's just say we've done all that. I've done all that. How do I upload a video? Now I know that sounds basic, but just stay with me for a second. I'm, I'm purposely picking a very easy software so that you just pay attention to what Harpa does, not what the software does. Okay, so look. Go to YouTube Studio in the top right corner. Click the camera icon with a plus that says create. Where is that? So you go, oh, 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 wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? Right there. Create. Okay. Click the button. Now what does it say to do? Now it says click upload videos. All right, let's do that. Click upload videos. Now it's going to technically going to a new page, but we already have page aware selected, so it'll, it'll continue to move. All right, so now what does it say? Drag and drop your video file or click select files to upload. All right, um, I don't know, I don't understand. Where is select files? What am I looking for? Let's just pretend. I'm just trying to act like I've never seen this before. I don't even know what a file is, right? And you're like, I don't get it. So look what it says. Look in the center of your screen for a big box that says drag and drop video files. This is what I want when I'm learning a new software. I want you to baby me, slow down, give me step by step as I'm figuring this out. I don't want to read your PDF. I don't want to read your manual. I don't want to take a course, not on individual little strategies. So now it says drag and drop video files. All right, so now you're like, um, how do I drag and drop? Because maybe you've never heard that term before. Open the folder on your computer that has your video files. So I go, okay, let me see if I have an MP4 in here. Uh, this one doesn't do videos, does it? All right, so then we're going to go to um, drag and drop. So I'm going to open a folder. Let me just browse for a, a .mov file. All right, let's just pretend we're going to use this one. Okay, so just grab it. It says right here, click and hold your mouse down on the... And it literally says, don't let go. While holding the mouse button, drag the file over to the YouTube window. Literally giving you step-by-step 
on how to use the software. All right, now you say, okay, I did that. What is next? Like you were talking to somebody that was guiding you and helping you through this. Now it says, click the blue next button at the bottom right hand corner. All right, we already did all that. Okay, video, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. I'm still on the upload screen, title, etc. Okay, now it says, got it. Title, type a short, clear, engaging title. Example. Okay, now you can stop it and you can say, okay, my video is about how to tie a tie. Give me a title. And it'll give you a title. But the whole point is, at every phase of this, you can, okay, as a matter of fact, let's keep going here. So how to tie a tie step-by-step step for beginners. It gave you your title. All right, now, okay, now, what do I do with the description box? That's next step, right? You can go into there. Now, I do have a little plug in here that's adding a bunch of little extra info. Don't worry about those. That's my vidIQ plugin. We'll skip those for now. Although, you know what? Ooh, ooh, let me see if it'll do it. Hold on a second. Do you see the vid IQ options on the screen? I don't know if it'll understand this. Let's find out. No, okay. If you're using the vid IQ browser, a panel or scorecard, okay. So it's, it understands what vid IQ is. Um, what is the optimized score shown here? 84 out of 100. The optimized score 84 out of 100 shown on your screen is the vid IQ SEO score. It rates how well your score is optimized. Da 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 da. How can I get 100 out of 100? And that'll tell me the things that I need to do on the screen. The point here is that I'm interacting with every element on the software. So now it's saying put that in the description. Okay, you get it? Okay, now I might say, um, it also shows highlights, controversial keywords. What is that? Age restriction, limited monetization, content review delays. Okay, talk to me like, it, like I am at an eighth grade learning level. I do this a lot and people would laugh because I'm a content creator. I'm very analytical. I understand technology. I want it to not overwhelm me. You know, I get tired trying to read all that and learn all that. So look what it did. It says, it says, when you see highlight controversial keywords, it's just a warning system. Things like bad words and swearing, dangerous topics. See, instead of age restriction, limited monetization, it's not like I'm saying dumb it down as much as it is I'm saying make it obvious. Make it obvious. Don't don't make don't make the words fancy where I have to reach for the meaning of it. Is kind of what I'm getting at. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, now you could choose whether or not to turn on. Okay. Now how what do I put in the description box? A lot of people don't know what to put here when they're first uploading a YouTube video. Okay. Oh, Wait, okay, so now it's saying um, watch the video and follow along, save this for next time you need. It literally gave us like a what to put in the box. What do most people use the YouTube description box for? I'm logged in, so it's giving me some answers based on what it already knows that I want. So I have to kind of go around that a little bit to show you what it might actually look like for you. So what do most people use it for? Most people use the YouTube description box to tell what the video is about in the first two lines. Example, this video shows you how to tie a tie. They add links to their website, affiliate products, other videos, or a playlist. They include a call to action, subscribe for more videos. They might add a disclaimer, like they're pulling this from my library because I always add a disclaimer because I do affiliate marketing, and they use keywords. And now it says, do you want me to give you a finished description? You can copy and paste. Yes.
You can literally do this if you're trying to file your taxes on the on the government site. Your well, some sites might be blocked. It'll help you with your your anything that's public. You're on Amazon and you can't figure out how to find your wish list. Like anything. Okay. Now look at this. So on this screen, there is a products tab. What is that? Let's see if it knows. The products tab in the YouTube studio is used to tag products that appear in your video. This is part of YouTube shopping features. So it's spot on. That's exactly right. And now I could say, um, do I need to add keywords to the video? It'll do the whole thing for you. Yes, you should add keywords. So bottom line here, I'm going to let you go with this. Harpa, 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 Harpa. The description is in the link below. This is going to help you learn anything, grow anything, build anything. You're welcome.